Good morning guys, what's going on? Lawson here. It's about 7 a.m. right now, and I was on my way to go fish for some redfish this morning. While I was making my run, I passed a couple of seawalls that looked so good. I couldn't, I couldn't not stop and try to fish them. So, I got a spook tied up, and we're going to hit these walls and hopefully pull some fish off of them. Ooh, right there. Got to get in on that. Oh, I think I got a little jack. Remember that big? Sure, it's a jack. It's head shaking like a maniac. Though that's very crazy. Like very strange head shakes. And that big fish is still eating behind the boat. And I've got this. I feel like this might be foul hooked, honestly. It's kind of what it feels like. Pump them in. Gosh, that bellow. Get in, dude, so I can throw in these other ones. It's a big jack. Turn this camera on. Oh, this camera's already on. He's under the boat. <sighs> Pull out, buddy. It's a good one. This is one of the bigger jacks I've seen in a long time in the river. You make my rod make some creaks and cracks. Make me nervous. For how big of a jack this is, you have to not fight really at all. Not slipping on here. Finally, landed that guy. It took me a little bit to land him, but that's a nice jack. He's probably 15 pounds or so. Right around there. He ate that spook head first, very strangely. We're gonna get him unhooked. Hopefully, and get him released. All right, got this beefer unhooked gonna release them, get them back going in the water. All right, he was ready, I guess. So I am wrapped around this person's dock cleat right here, or on this wall, and there is Snook and Jack feeding right below the wall that we're on caught. That's always good, you know? You don't want your lure in the water, you want it right above it where the fish can't eat it. This looks too good right here, this back end wall. Of course, now the jack are going off behind me where I just was. I just left to chase him over here. Oh, little jack. He ate that the second it touched the water though. That's cool. Let's see if I can just pump this guy in and get on to another fish. There we go. Pulled him off. Not really too upset about that, to be honest. He's only about a two pound jack. Okay, so caught one big jack, probably close to 15 pounds, and lost a little peanut. Don't really care about that. But it's time to get back to the main goal that was this morning. Hopefully, we can go and catch some trout and redfish now. 
you know, the wind has been blowing like mad the past week. It's been miserable, like really frustrating to fish, honestly. But I think that should be good for redfish and trout. The temperatures have dropped about 10 degrees since summer, where now it's about, I think, 75 degrees this morning. So hopefully we can get on some fish. The goal is a nice redfish, maybe a nice trout as well. Oh God, look at this, jacks right there. Nice bust up there. I like how this little jack is fighting way harder than my big, like, 15-pounder I caught this morning. All right, second, or yeah, second jack right there. Came off that little swim bait. Nothing crazy, but I mean, they just fight so well. Like you can't complain about catching these things. Sometimes you can, but when you just want something to pull on your line, you can't complain about these guys. They are one of the best fighting fish in the ocean, if not the world. Gonna get them released right here. Alright, done with the day. You know, it's just been hard to fish on the boat the past, I don't know, three weeks, almost almost a month now because the wind has been relentless. And even this morning at 5.30, the wind was blowing 15 miles per hour in the dark, you know. So it's just been so hard and challenging to fish, honestly. It's been really frustrating. But mornings like today, it's it's hard to say, you know, my intentions when I went out fishing this morning, I wanted to catch a redfish, but that didn't happen. And the wind just, I couldn't fish the flats or the mangroves very well because the wind was just pushing me across them so quickly. And, you know, I ended up catching a nice jack and two smaller ones, or one smaller one and shaking off a little one. But, you know, it's weird sometimes, you know, when you set out on a morning where you have a target species in mind and you don't catch that fish but you still catch fish and I still had fun but you still kind of feel defeated because you didn't catch that species you were going after you know so it's kind of a weird feeling but still had fun this morning regardless you know Jack I don't think they get enough credit they are one of the strongest fighting fish around around town they are just so much fun to catch especially when they get over about 10 pounds that's when I love to catch them 
you know, sometimes it can be frustrating catching the little ones that are two pounders but when they get over 10 they really they're great fighters and can't complain about a morning like that catching some decent sized jack that's it for today hope you guys liked the video until next time see you